Welcome back, my friend, to another episode of Become Limitless. Today, we're talking about how you can permanently transform your limiting beliefs using transcendence healing so that you can be more abundant, prosperous, and happy. Join me in this episode as I take you on the backstage and I teach you the methodology of transcendence healing, the origin of limiting beliefs, how they are stopping you from reaching your full potential and how you can start to use TH to release, deprogram these limiting beliefs from your subconscious mind and reprogram new empowering beliefs for permanent and profound change. This will be really exciting. This will be a hands-on episode. We're going to do a little theory, but then we will get into practice and you will get a real life experience of using transcendence healing to release limiting beliefs and be more abundant. That will be the topic for today. We might do different topics. That might be an amazing idea. So we'll do love, wealth, relationships, health. Today, we're going to do a little bit of wealth and uncover what is going on inside of us. What do we need to do? to open up and be able to receive more abundance. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. The first thing that we need to understand is what are limiting beliefs? Where do they come from and how do they affect us? Limiting beliefs, we see at that play of words, is having a belief that is limiting some aspect of your life. And what is a belief, first of all? A belief is anything that you have within you that makes you see the world from that perspective. You can have positive beliefs, negative beliefs, you can have empowering beliefs, or you can have contracting beliefs. So just the same way that I have these glasses I want you to think of a belief like these glasses. So when I put these glasses on, I have a yellow tint. So the way that I'm seeing the world right now, my external reality has shifted because I'm wearing some glasses. And that is the same way with a belief. Our beliefs are not necessarily true, but what happens the majority of the time is that people will defend their beliefs until they die. And they cannot seem to be able to have the awareness to know that perhaps they haven't been using the best glasses. Perhaps they've been using an old clunky model that needs to be replaced. And that is what a belief is. The way that you see the world, we call these reality models as well. The way that you see the world dictates your destiny and creates your future. So you can imagine just how important it is to be able to transform and shift beliefs within you. Now, the next point that I really want to talk about is address what is going on right now in the industry, in the personal development and healing industry. From my experience, the exercises, the visualizations that people do to help you supposedly break free from limiting beliefs is not really effective. What I've discovered is that you need to use a very unique process that goes within your body, that goes into your subconscious mind, identifies that limiting belief and removes that weed from your garden. And not only the weed, but also the root system that is underneath. That makes sense. So all of these exercises are great to quote unquote, help you a little bit with your beliefs, but they don't really go into that surgery of releasing, cutting and permanently allowing you the freedom to not have that belief for the rest of your life. And that is what we're going to do with transcendence healing. So now that we know that beliefs are like different pairs of glasses, what do we do with that? 
where do these glasses originate from? Where do they come from? When did we start wearing them? That's an amazing question. Limiting beliefs are stored in two different places within you. The first place is inside your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is, in a way, inside your body. It's like this supercomputer that we have that stores all of our values, beliefs, memories, thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Your entire personality, your blueprint, the reason why you take actions every single day is not stored consciously, but subconsciously. And taking it a step further, which is something that I'm very passionate about, is teaching people that your beliefs are not only stored in your subconscious mind, but actually stored in your energetic anatomy. Your energetic anatomy has your chakras, your meridians, your nadis, and your aura. So when you see a person that you just met, you might say, oh, I love their vibe. They're amazing. That is because you are resonating with their aura, with their energetic field that you can't see. But we all have one. Maybe when you go to a place where it feels kind of weird or contracting, you might say, I don't like that place. Let's go somewhere else. It's because even if you can't see energy, you're able to pick up that frequency because we all have energetic anatomies. So we can give and receive frequencies and we can change them. But the interesting thing is, I've discovered that limiting beliefs actually get stuck in our energetic anatomies. And not only that, they get stuck in very specific points. So for example, if someone has a limiting belief that says, I am unlovable, that limiting belief, majority of the time, is going to be stored in the heart center, which is the heart chakra. So imagine that I have a limiting belief that I am unlovable. I'm wearing these glasses, and the way that I perceive reality has to confirm that what I believe is true. That is how your subconscious mind works. We need to make sure that the beliefs that we have within ourselves are confirmed externally. This also has to do with the IRS, the reticular activating system. But going back to the example, if I believe that I'm unlovable, first of all, I'm emitting a frequency. I'm emitting this energy or this broadcasting message that is telling everybody around me that I am unlovable. And so if I start dating someone because I'm wearing these glasses that has this limiting belief that I am unlovable, then I might start to get insecure. If, my, if the partner or the relationship starts and then let's say I text him or her one day and a couple of hours go by, he might start to feel insecure. He might start to have shame or guilt or jealousy. What if it's he or she's with somebody else and so on and so forth. And then it's like you almost verify and you have your limiting belief of I am unlovable. It manifests itself as a thought that comes into your mind and says, oh, that's right. That makes sense. I, it's because I'm unlovable or it's because I don't deserve that. And you tell that story to yourself over and over again of how you are unlovable. And that is the relationship between the story in the mind and the limiting belief is stored in your energy and in your body. So until that person is able to take off their glasses and realize that they even have glasses, they won't be able to change their circumstances. And so they will attract over and over again the same type of partner that confirms for him or her that they are unlovable. They will seek that familiarity. So if the partner is isolated or likes to gaslight or likes to shame the other person, that person will believe that that is natural because they have a limiting belief that says, I am unlovable. This is what I deserve. And that is just one aspect of life, right? We could go on for hours speaking about how different subconscious limiting beliefs affect your perception of reality. 
but I'm certain that at least you have the gist of it, of how these glasses can be empowering or how they can be disempowering. And they are not going to take us to where we want to go in life. So now that we know that limiting beliefs are stored in the subconscious mind and in our energy, and they're like glasses that we can change, right? They're not the absolute truth. Let's ask the question, where do they come from? This is some very, very meaningful and interesting field of study. And from my own personal experience, from working with myself, with a lot of clients using transcendence healing, I have discovered firsthand that a lot of these limiting beliefs are inherited. They're almost like intergenerational traumas that get passed down from our lineage of our mother and our father. And energetically speaking, we almost absorb that limiting belief and it gets stuck within us. That is one possibility. Limiting beliefs can either be inherited or they can be created to our own circumstances. So for example, if I grew up in an environment where I didn't feel safe, where I couldn't speak up and my parents were always fighting, you might develop a limiting belief that says, I am not safe or I can't express myself because I am not safe. And then you internalize that message, that formula, and then you carry it for the rest of your life until you find a tool that allows you to really go deep into that ingrained pattern that is in your energy and in your subconscious and then take out that pattern and all of those roots that created that pattern in the first place. And so that's where limiting beliefs come from. The last thing that is really important to understand is how do limiting beliefs actually affect us? Apart from the glasses analogy, something that's really interesting to understand is that Core beliefs are in the second level of human change and transformation. Okay. And to, for you to understand it, the first level has to do with our identity, our self image, how we see ourselves. That is the deepest level of change and transformation. From that, we have core beliefs that are called reality models. This is level number two. Level three is thoughts, thought forms that come into your mind that manifest as your inner voice. Level four is feelings and emotions. And level five, behaviors and actions. So what I want you to realize is when you have a core belief at level two, if I have a limiting belief that says I am not safe, that creates a ripple effect or a waterfall that is going to negatively impact all of the other levels. So level three, four, and five are going to be negatively impacted by this core belief. This means that if I have a limiting belief that says I am not safe, my thoughts, my feelings and emotions, and my actions are going to confirm that truth, right? Of I am not safe. So you might have thoughts that create worry and stress and anxiety within you. You might have feelings or emotions that make you feel worried or stressed or tensioned. And then you might find yourself within your body that you don't feel safe and you're always needing to move. Maybe in your nervous system, you're feeling like this fight or flight or freeze response and you're always kind of stressed or busy or doing because you don't even know what's happening. But there's this force within your body that is just not feeling safe. And then from that, from those thoughts and feelings, we ultimately go to our actions, right? So imagine a person that has some glasses and inside those glasses, there is a limiting belief that it's written here that says, I am not safe. How is that person going to see the world? Well, if I believe that I'm not safe, I'm going to see the world in the same lens, with the same perspective. So I'm going to derive meaning from that and say, the world is not safe. Other people are not safe. Social interactions are not safe. Relationships 
are not safe. Money is not safe. When we don't feel safe and secure to receive money or wealth or abundance, we're not able to receive it. Because how can you receive something that you are not feeling safe, that you're feeling contracted? When I'm feeling contracted, there are no hands for me to receive because I'm protecting myself. I got to protect myself. When I'm feeling safe and secure, I'm open, right? And just with this little analogy, you can see when I'm open, I'm open to receive more wealth and abundance. The root cause, a lot of the times for people who want to expand their wealth and their abundance to a higher level, upgrade their wealth and their finances, is rooted in releasing and transforming that limiting belief that says, I am not safe. Shifting it into a belief that says, I am safe. And literally giving you a new pair of glasses that will serve you in so many more ways. So now that we know this powerful analogy and example of how limiting beliefs work, where are they stored and where do they come from? Can you now see the bigger picture of how subconscious limiting beliefs are at the root cause of what prevents people from achieving their full potential? Imagine a person with a thousand limiting beliefs related to money, relationships, abundance, and wealth versus a person that doesn't have these limiting beliefs that through some modality, subconsciously or energetically speaking, they've been able to clear those limiting beliefs from the root cause permanently. Imagine the trajectory of these two people. It's going to be completely different. Person A here who doesn't have those limiting beliefs is going to create an extraordinary life, step into their greatness, and ultimately lead a life of service to other people. Because when you release limiting beliefs, what you're really doing is you're releasing the layers of conditioning of fear that are related to your ego, and you are reconnecting and remembering who you truly are, which is love, service, abundance, and prosperity. That is your true nature. And that is how important limiting beliefs are and how important it is to find the right tool that gives you the result that you deserve, which is I don't want to re-experience those negative thoughts, emotions, or feelings, or actions again. I want to be able to clear that limiting belief from the root cause. And that frustration, my friend, is what led me to ultimately create transcendence healing because I looked everywhere and I didn't find a way for me to reprogram on a very deep and meaningful level my limiting beliefs. I wanted a tool that would allow me to shift these limiting beliefs instantly and permanently. And this tool is what evolved into the system of transcendence healing which we're going to go into later on in today's episode. All right. So now that we know we've laid the groundwork and the foundations, let's talk about how you can identify the limiting beliefs within your subconscious mind. And the way that we do this is by using muscle testing. Muscle testing or applied kinesiology has been used for hundreds of years in traditional Chinese medicine and chiropractors and doctors around the world that opt for a more holistic view of treatments and medicines and whatnot. The universal truth test is a powerful tool that allows you to tap into your body's own wisdom and it reveals whether a statement that you make out loud or in your mind is truth or false. So if you wanted to stand up right now, if you could, you stand up, you can close your eyes, you can take a deep breath. And if you just say, my name is, and say your real name, I want you to take a moment and see if your body tilts forward or backwards. Your body's going to tilt forwards if you don't have any radiation 
or anything that is weakening your body. So you got to make sure you're not wearing any sort of earrings or jewelry or things that are actually weakening your body because that's going to give you the wrong answer. But once you take that out of the equation, 90 to 95% of the time, estimated muscle testing is going to work for you. So you want to stand up again, take a deep breath and now say my name is and say a name that is not true. Say a name that is false. You'll see that your body moves backwards. And I invite you to practice this, to try it with 10 different statements and you'll see that it works every single time. The only thing you need is a little bit of practice so that you can get used to how cool this tool really is. And we're going to use that tool today to first identify the limiting belief and then go into the transcendence healing session from today's episode. This universal truth test needs an episode on its own. So I will do it justice. I will create an in-depth episode of muscle testing. But for now, know that you can start to play around with it. And the reason that your body moves forward when you say a statement that is true and the reason that it moves backwards when you say a statement that is not true is that your body is designed and it knows that truth is good for the body. If you say love, you're going to tilt forward. And that's because your body knows that love, the frequency of love, imagine it being food, is actually good for your body. But when you say fear, the frequency and energy and vibration of fear is detrimental to your body. And that's why the body goes back because it knows naturally that it's not good. That food is not good for me. That word related to fear. So now that we know this foundation and knowledge, we can use muscle testing to identify if you have a limiting belief on a subconscious level that says, I am not safe. All right, we're going to do that in a moment. The limiting belief of I am not safe 90% of the time is stored in the root chakra. The majority of the times, this belief is the one that blocks the root chakra. The root chakra governs functions of safety and security, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. So this will be a really empowering self-discovery exercise for you. We're going to do that now. If you're driving, just pause the podcast and come back to it when you're in a place where you can stop, stand up for one moment and verify this for yourself. What I want you to do is stand up, balance yourself, make sure that there is not any jewelry or any Wi-Fi routers or any AirPods that are emitting EMF frequencies. Take all of those things off to make sure that you are grounded and balanced and that your body is going to give you an accurate answer. Make sure that you're in a state that is grounded. So if you're stressed out, don't do this right now. Take a deep breath in and out with your eyes closed. And when you do this, you're literally communicating with your body. You're receiving an answer. And this is profound. So just say, the statement or the belief out loud, say, I am safe. I am safe. When you say that belief out loud, I want you to notice where your body is tilting. Is it tilting backwards or is it tilting forwards? If it's tilting backwards, that means that you don't have that belief. That means that your body and your subconscious do not believe that belief means it is false. If your body tilts forward, it means that you already believe that you are safe. It means that you don't have that limiting belief. So to recap, if your body tilts backwards, that means that you have that limiting belief of I am not safe because you don't believe that you're safe. You're literally speaking to your subconscious mind. If your body tilts forward when you say I am safe, you already know and believe this within you. So you're good. But I found that 80% of people will go backwards. 
because they've never done this type of work before. And a lot of what the world pushes our way kind of enforces, reinforces that limiting belief. I am not safe. Okay? So you can feel free to pause the episode now and make sure if you want to say it one more time, I am safe. See if you move forward or backwards. I'm assuming you've done that now. And now we move on to the next and final phase of this episode, which is using transcendence healing to release and reprogram this limiting belief. We're going to be transforming I am not safe into I am safe. And you're going to be able to verify this for yourself using muscle testing. When we do this and we shift this limiting belief, your capabilities to receive wealth and abundance are going to massively increase because your message, your broadcast that you're sending out into the world is going to be different. Instead of saying or emitting a frequency that says, I am not safe, I don't feel secure to receive more money or to manage or to hold the money. Now, on the other hand, you're going to be instantly transformed to a person that has a belief that you are safe. And when you're safe, it is safe to receive, it is safe to open up and be more abundant. So I want you to use this lens of perspective that we're going to be working on safety and security. And as a byproduct, we're going to increase your capacity to receive, hold and manage and multiply wealth, money, and abundance. So before we do the live exercise and session, we need to understand a little bit what transcendence healing is. I've explained what transcendence healing is in other episodes, but I'm going to give you a brief introduction and the cliff notes, what transcendence is and what it does for you. And this healing is a groundbreaking approach to personal development that I've developed that allows you to target your own energetic anatomy and physical body at the same time. This gives you access to the language of your body and your subconscious. By targeting deeply ingrained patterns, transcendence healing allows you to experience a shift in your core beliefs, your identity, your behaviors, your actions, and your feelings. So we're going into what I call the root cause resolution by using a holistic synergy of tools. This is what creates transcendence healing and what makes it so powerful that it allows you to experience instant transformations at the level of your identity. It's because it goes down to the root cause, it plucks out that weed, but also the root systems deep within the soils that are invisible. And then, because it's a universal system, transcendence healing allows you to work on any specific part of your body or in any specific area of your life. So imagine transcendence healing like the most incredible radar that is able to identify and automatically release the invisible blocks that are preventing you from reaching your full potential. In a matter of minutes, as you will be experiencing in a moment, you will be releasing that limiting belief with the hundreds of imbalances that created that belief in the first place. For today, we're going to be working on your area of safety and security that is related to money. So as you go through the session, you're going to be experiencing a powerful holistic blend of brainwave state change which just means you're going to be deeply relaxed, a holistic blend of energy medicine and subconscious reprogram. And this is what creates the technology of transcendence healing. So as you listen to the session, you're going to be listening to the sound of my voice. I'm going to help you get into a deep state of mind, changing your brainwave state. From there, you are directly connected to your subconscious mind we're able to command the subconscious mind and almost like a programmer, 
that types in lines of code, we're going to be telling and commanding the subconscious mind to go and release that limiting belief of I am not safe and to identify for us within your psyche how many imbalances you have related to that limiting belief. And once it has done that, we give it another rule and command, which is heal and release these belief and these imbalances. And once we have this new ground, new space, please reprogram and install a new program in the operating system of us. So we're literally upgrading, rewiring deep within our subconscious mind and energy. So without further ado, let's do it. For this, you're going to close your eyes when you're ready. Take a deep breath in and out. And as you exhale, slowly close your eyes. Make sure you're not doing this while driving or anything else. Make sure you're sitting in a comfortable position where you won't be disturbed for the next 10 minutes. Taking a deep breath in and out. The first step that we're going to do is actually activate your Transcendence Healing Program. So this is how we communicate with the language of your subconscious mind and we give it commands so that it executes them inside of you automatically. This is the beauty and the magic of it. So there's three easy, simple steps. Step one, we need to set an intention. Okay, this is in a way commanding our energy and telling your body, this is what I'm intending to do. This is what I want to do. To do this, repeat mentally after me. I set the intention to create a transcendence healing program for my limiting belief, I am not safe. Just by you saying that, your subconscious mind knows all of the rules that it needs to execute because of the transcendence healing program. The rules are simple. Look for the belief, look for the imbalances, release those imbalances, release that limiting belief, and then install a new opposite empowering belief that is compatible with the subconscious mind or the person who is listening or watching to this session. Easy peasy. All right, so step two, we need to now communicate this to our body and subconscious mind. How do we do this? We need to think of a shape and a color to represent this healing. For this one, I want you to imagine a red sphere that represents this program. Okay, now we're speaking the language of your subconscious mind. And now step three, we need to send those commands into your body, into your energy. How do we do this? We do it by doing a hard focused breathing. So bring your full attention and awareness to the center of your chest and heart. Breathing in and out. On every exhale, imagine that you're shooting energy from your heart into this red sphere. In, out, in, out, in, out. And this part of the technology of transcendence healing comes from the groundbreaking work of Richard Gordon, which he developed something called quantum touch. So breathing in and out, as you breathe out, shoot energy from your heart into this red sphere. I'll do this for 10 more times. And know that as you do this, you're activating the program. You're allowing that software to run within your own subconscious, just like a program in your computer. You're doing the same thing. program needs loving energy to activate. Now, three more times. Breathing out, you're doing amazing. Two. And one. So now, staying with your eyes closed.
let's take you into a deeper state of relaxation. Taking a deep breath in and out, relaxing. I'm now going to guide you through the deepening camp. And this will just allow the brain waves of your mind to just slow down and relax. So instead of us focusing outwards and everything that we have to do today or in the next hour or in the next day, we're going to just bring you to a deep state of mind, relaxation and peace so that you can be fully present with the transformation and the rewiring that is happening within you. So as you take a deep breath in and exhale, I want you to see the number three, three times. Three, three, three. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, see the number two, three times. Two, two, two. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, see the number one, three times. One, one, one. To allow you to go into a deeper state of mind, I'm going to count from 10 to 1. On every descending number, you're going to feel yourself going inwards into a more profound state of relaxation. 10, 9, feel going deeper. 8, 7, 6, deeper and deeper. Five, four, three, deeper and deeper, two, and one. You're now at a deeper, healthier level of mind. I'm now going to guide you through a head-to-toe relaxation. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, relax. Relax your eyelids. Relax your face. Relax your jaw and your lips. Relax your neck and your throat. Relax your shoulders your hands, your arms. Relax your chest, your abdomen, your stomach. Relax your upper back and your lower back. Relax your hips. Relax your thighs. Relax your calves and relax your feet. You're now completely relaxed from head to toe. If you've done the Silva Ultramind course, this is the deepening countdown that we do. It's incredible. Now just take a moment to check your surroundings inside you. Take a moment to tune in with your physical body, with your emotions and with your mind. And just for a few moments, as you're with me on this journey, Nothing else matters. As you allow yourself to drift deeper 
into relaxation and peace. And the deeper you go, the better you feel. The better you feel, the deeper you go to the most incredible state of relaxation. Just dropping deeper, sinking deeper, going deep. And now you find yourself in a beautiful white room. It's very peaceful, very grounded, very safe. This is your sacred, safe space. And in this white room, you're relaxing, feeling peaceful, feeling grounded. Immerse yourself in this scene. And as you do that, you're going to get a memory. You're going to receive a memory that perhaps created that limiting belief of I am not safe in the first place. So I'll just allow you to understand a little bit more the context and the reasons why you might have this limiting belief in the first place. So being open to receive, knowing that there's nothing that you have to do. I'm going to count from one to three. And when I do, I'm going to snap my fingers and you'll receive this memory. One, two, three. Receiving that memory now. Being open and receptive going to give you a moment of silence. This memory only needs to be observed and when you're ready to release it and let it go, you can imagine that memory going up, being transformed into light. And just give thanks for receiving that memory. Knowing that as you listen to the sound of my voice, you're going on a conscious journey with me. But also knowing that on your subconscious mind, Transcendence Healing Program is working for you, releasing and reprogramming that limiting belief at the same time. So it's almost like you're doing two journeys together today. All right. Moving on to the next phase of the journey, releasing that memory, letting it go with grace and forgiveness. We move on to the next step. And the next step is going to be really, really cool. I'm going to start counting up from one. And for every ascending number, you're going to sense or visualize that an imbalance is being released from your body in the form of a balloon. So every ascending number sends a balloon being released from your body that symbolizes the imbalances being released within you. Okay, and as, I, as you release these imbalances and these balloons, you're going to feel lighter and better and more like yourself. And now sense one, two, three, four, five balloons being released Imagine them disappearing slowly into the horizon. Six balloons, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are all of the imbalances related to that belief, I am not safe. Now 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 balloons. Sense those 20 balloons being released. And now 30 
Balloons, imagine them being released in milliseconds, one by one, automatically. Releasing 40 balloons, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Releasing 60, 70, 80 balloons, 90 in 100. Now sense and feel all the imbalances and balloons being released up into the sky so you're feeling lighter and better. Knowing that as we speak, your Transcendence Healing Program is working at the root cause of that limiting belief, releasing those deeply ingrained patterns from your energy and your subconscious mind. Now we move on to the last phase of this journey. You will receive your new truth now that you've released this old limitation that says, I am not safe, I want you to receive a new truth from within you. To do this, you can imagine yourself in a beautiful nature, somewhere where you feel safe, a forest, a garden full of flowers or beautiful trees and plants. And just get ready to receive your new truth. This will come as a word, as a knowing, or as a feeling. So we're replacing the old, false, fear-based belief, and we're installing a new, empowering core belief. One. Two, getting ready to receive that new truth for you today. And three, receiving that truth now. Knowing there's nothing that you have to do, to sit back and relax and receive. I'm going to give you a moment of silence. Now that you've received your new truth, you're ready to come back up. By this time, your subconscious mind has already been rewired and you've released this limiting belief from your energetic anatomy as well. Once I take you up, you're going to verify this for yourself. Now one, two, coming up slowly, going to count from one to five. When I reach the number five, you'll open your eyes coming back to full presence, feeling incredible, feeling better than before, knowing that you're safe on all levels of your being. Three, knowing that these changes have shifted you at a molecular, cellular, and neurological level. Four, getting ready to come back up. And five, eyes open when you're ready, wide awake, feeling better than before. Welcome back. It's a pleasure to have you here. Take a deep breath in. Relax for a moment. Thank you for being here. And now, we're getting ready to the conclusion of this episode. So what you're going to do is stand up when you're ready. If you need to pause the video, do so. 
So when you're ready, stand up. Stand firm, stand balanced. Take a deep breath in. Let go of any noise. Clear your mind. Focus on the question, on the statement. And just say, I am safe. Just say that. I am safe. So if before you were experiencing your body taking you backwards, which is false, now you're going to be moving forward. And that means we've been successful today in installing this new core belief within you. And over the next couple of minutes, hours, and days, that belief will get fully grounded and rooted within you, positively impacting your emotions, thoughts, and actions. You can say it a few more times, I am safe. And what I recommend is that once you finish this episode, go and say it out loud or in your mind multiple times throughout the day, just so that you can feel this new state of being, this new truth that we have created for you today. If for some reason you are going backwards, what I see happen, which is really funny sometimes, is that people are in such shock and awe that this happened in a matter of 10 minutes that their mind is like refusing to accept the truth. And so they're trying to control the answer and they're like, no, I'm going to move backwards. And so they're not really allowing the body to lead them. So this universal truth test, this muscle testing, you need to surrender and let go of any expectations of your mind. And you need to surrender and allow the body to lead you to the truth. So with that said, that's going to wrap up this incredible episode today. I'm so excited just recording this right now because it's going to be incredible on the other side. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your presence so much. If you want to learn more about Transcendence Healing or if you're interested in potentially working on a one-on-one -on -one capacity to take you on a very personal journey using Transcendence Healing, I'm going to drop all of those links below so that you can learn more on your own about Transcendence and all of that good stuff that you can do. It's going to be all. Thank you so much. If you've enjoyed this episode, the only thing I ask from you is leave us a rating and a review on Apple Podcasts. This will help us so much in reaching more and more people. Thank you. Have an incredible day. And it's been a pleasure and an honor having you today. All the love. I'm JP signing out. Today's episode is brought to you by Transcendence Healing aka me. I have one overarching goal, and that is to help you remove the blocks that are preventing you from reaching your full potential and making a bigger impact in the world. This is the journey that I've been obsessed over the last five years, and this is how Transcendence Healing was born. Transcendence Healing is a holistic blend of brainwave state change, of energy healing, and subconscious reprogramming that allows you to instantly experience permanent and profound transformations in all areas of your life. I feel that it is now time to bring this to a community, to scale this goodness, and to give these tools to people who want to learn them for themselves, for their loved ones, and perhaps even for their clients. This is Transcendence University, the all-inclusive online community where you get access to weekly calls with me, where you get access to the entire framework, the 12 steps of transcendence healing, where you go on a journey and you clear on all 12 dimensions of your life, all of those invisible blocks that are preventing you from reaching your full potential. You're going to get access to so many resources, connections, experiences. I invite you to join Transcendence University. That's gonna be the journey of a lifetime. Very excited to see you on the other side and connect with you.